guys, welcome back to Hike Oregon. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about some of my favorite summer hiking shirts that I've been using over the years. If you are new here, welcome to the Hike Oregon channel. I make hiking and backpacking vlogs as well as gear reviews and just general tips and tricks videos to help you become a more confident hiker and backpacker. If you enjoy content like that, click that red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are notified every time I make a new video. And if you want more content from me, you can always support me over on Patreon where for as little as just $1, you get two extra videos a month. So I have a plethora of shirts to share with you today. I'm going to start with the tank top that I'm wearing and then I'm going to move over to t-shirts and then we're going to move on to sun shirts. I used to live in tank tops when I went day hiking in the summertime. Backpacking a little bit different, I'll talk about that later. But for day hikes, I would always wear a tank top. I had about three or four of these Under Armour tank tops. I'm wearing one right now. They have lasted me for years. I think I've had this one for nearly 10 years and it's still like in really good shape. There's no holes, it's not thinning anywhere. It's in excellent shape. Now, I don't, I'm not sure that they make this exact tank top anymore, but I will link something similar. You can't really go wrong with Under Armour or my friend really loves her Smart Bowl tank tops and she's had them for about six years now. You really tend to get what you pay for in terms of quality, uh, durability, and that kind of thing uh, when it comes to clothing items I've found. Next, I'm going to talk about this amazing t-shirt from Appalachian Gear Company. I always want to call them Appalachian Trail Company, but it's Appalachian Gear Company. It is an absolutely wonderful t-shirt. This is a size small and I do have one of their hoodies actually that I have gone over in a previous gear video as well. I love this t-shirt also because it's pretty long as you can see, uh, but it fits really, really well. Like the shoulders fit really well. Um, it is so comfortable and natural fiber materials, they tend to do really well when it comes to like smell and stuff like that. For example, some of my long sleeve wool shirts versus my long sleeve synthetic shirts, they not only keep you warmer and more dry, but they also just don't end up smelling. There is a certain stench that after you've worn a synthetic shirt for you know numerous years you just can't get it out of the shirt and natural fiber clothing just doesn't do that it doesn't hold on to that smell so i love this t-shirt super comfy um, it's on the thicker side obviously it is wool so it is going to be a little bit thicker good for those days where it's not you know 80 something degrees maybe in the 60s you're gonna be too hot wearing a coat or a sweater. So you hike in a t-shirt, but you're not gonna wear something super airy like I'm gonna show you here in a little bit. This is absolutely perfect for those in-between seasons, fall, spring, early summer, at least here in the Pacific Northwest, it's not always super hot, so. Okay, we're gonna go a little bit more lightweight, but not a ton. This is a wicking t-shirt from Sierra Designs. Again, it's on the longer side, which I really like. I don't love like super short shirts. It fits really well. This is a small also. It's just a great wicking t-shirt. It's a little bit on the heavier side compared to the two others I'm gonna show you here in a second, but it's not gonna be as warm as the wool shirt for sure. This wicking material just feels really, really nice on the skin. It sort of has a cooling effect, to be honest. Uh, when I first felt the material, I was like a little iffy on it. I was like, is that gonna feel clingy or whatever when I'm sweating? But it absolutely does not. It feels really, really good on the skin. So next up is one of my favorites from Adidas. Um, this is a wonderful wicking t-shirt, super lightweight. Um, it's from their new Terex line which they made for like hiking and stuff like that. You can see the back is different than the front. It's sort of vented um, and it just is so airy. I have been absolutely 
loving this shirt. And then if you want to feel like you're wearing absolutely nothing, this Outdoor Vitals t-shirt is absolutely just to die for and you have to get it if you like wearing t-shirts hiking. This is a must. It feels so good. It's buttery soft, super thin. You literally feel like you're not wearing a shirt. It is a unisex cut, so it's not gonna be like some of these other shirts. They are women's specific cuts. But oh my gosh, I freaking love this shirt so, 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 so much. And speaking of this shirt, this material, this wonderful buttery soft material that you feel like you're not wearing anything, they have a sun hoodie and I will show it to you right now. Okay, this sun hoodie, absolutely love this. I wore this pretty much all of last summer. They recently just came out with the shirt, the t-shirt, so I knew I would like it because I loved this sun hoodie all last summer when I got it um, in the spring. And I just wore the heck out of it all last summer. And as you can see, it's just a super lightweight sun hoodie. I like wearing long sleeves for extended day hikes where I know it's going to be sunny as well as when I'm backpacking. When I'm backpacking and I'm in the sun all day long, I don't really want that sun on my skin. I hate sunscreen. I absolutely despise the feeling of sunscreen on my skin. So if I can avoid putting sunscreen on my skin, whether that be wearing a hat and a long sleeve shirt, I much rather do that. Now, other people are like, get all my clothes off. I wanna wear a tank top or just a sports bra hiking and I'll lather myself in sunscreen. That is so personal, I just really don't like sunscreen. So, I love these long shirts for extended periods in the sun. And then last, but certainly not least, is my Columbia PFG sun shirt. I love this. I have three of these shirts in different colors. And this is my favorite shirt. This is the most worn one. This is the oldest one. I got this one in 2018 and I've gotten more since. So what I love about these is they are super cooling. The back has a little bit of a vent. So when you take off your backpacking backpack, it's just cool. They're super loose and airy. When the wind catches your shirt, it just instantly cools you down. I love it. And then if you do get super, super hot, you just can't with the long sleeves anymore, you can roll up the sleeves and there is a little button so you can button this up and it'll stay like that. So that is really nice. Again, this is such a quality shirt. It's a $50 shirt, so it's quite expensive. But again, the quality is there. This shirt has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles on it. And it doesn't have any holes, rips, or anything. I just love this shirt. I, whenever I put it on, I get so excited to go backpacking. So I highly recommend if you're looking for sun coverage, this is definitely the way to go. Okay guys, that is it. Those are all of the shirts that I wear typically during the summer season when I go hiking and backpacking. I hope this gave you some inspiration. If you are shopping for summer hiking shirts, I will link all of these below. And of course, let me know if you have any questions. If you don't already, go ahead and follow me over on Instagram. That's where I post all of my pictures of recent hikes and backpacking trips. And if you want to hike and backpack here in this amazing state of Oregon, check out my website, hikeoregon.net, and you'll find tons of information there as well as get access to the four hiking guidebooks that I've written over the years. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you on the next adventure.